Time again because it is Friday to take uh, time out of our days and join our friend from Montreal, Andrew Vizikas, the night sky guy. Thanks for joining us, Andrew. Hey, Chris. Hey, you know what? I was, I was just looking at the, our first story here. It sounds like we have a new comic book hero, the Green Comet. The Green Comet. Tell me about right. it. Well, you know, you know, this is what a way to start International Year of Astronomy with the first comet of the year, and it's a, it's approaching the inner solar system. It's a, it's a, it's visible in only in binoculars right now, but okay. predictions are that it will become visible to the naked eye. It's uh, here's a photograph taken by a very uh, well-known astrophotographer, Jack Newton. He's he's out in British Columbia, amateur astronomer, and he took this photo, and you can see the nucleus, and it's growing green this greenish glow. It's visible in the eastern sky uh, just before dawn, and it looks like a fuzzy ball, basically, in binoculars. But in a couple of weeks, uh, by the uh, end of this month, we should be uh, able to see it with the naked eye, and it may actually be quite visible, like really visible. So we'll have to stay tuned to see what happens, because these things are notoriously unpredictable. Now, why such a green glow to this thing? Well, the glow, is they think, is caused by uh, a cyanogen. So it's like cyanic gas, and uh, nothing to worry about. It doesn't affect us, by, but it gives this greenish, eerie glow to, to, uh, to, uh, to this, this comet nucleus. Oh, looking forward to that. I definitely want to get myself a good pair of binoculars for that. Now, The Lord of the Rings, another heroic story, is also topping your agenda today. That's right. Here we're meeting the Luna meets Lord of the Rings. Our, our almost near full moon is going to be parking itself right underneath uh, this creamy colored star, which is not a star, in fact, it's a planet, Saturn. And this will be on Wednesday morning at dawn. So you look towards the west, basically, this time, towards the west, and you'll see the full moon, and just above it is Saturn. If you have a telescope, you'll notice that the, the rings are almost uh, almost invisible because they're, they're lined up almost exactly towards Earth. And this happens almost only about every dozen years, 12 years or so. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice sight in telescopes as well. But you can see it with the naked eye, the two, the pair very easily. Oh, this is the only shot to get within the next 12 years. I advise everybody to take, it, take that advice. Hey, you know what, before we move on, I want to get to the Cosmic Quiz because we're talking about one of our heroes today. That's right, the, what we call the father of modern day astronomy, Galileo. And uh, in time for a year of astronomy, how's this question here? Um, what astronomical discovery did Galileo make? Could it have been A, the discovery of the moons of Jupiter? Or how about sunspots? Or how about that the Milky Way is made of stars? There's a couple there that could actually fit, but I'm not exactly sure. That's tricky. Well, you know, let's, 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 I'll, we'll come back to it. I want to know more about this International Year of Astronomy. Yeah, well, in, you know, we kicked this off just here. It's a United Nations program, and it's uh, 140 countries are taking part of it. We're celebrating 400 years since Galileo turned the newly invented telescope towards the heavens. Wow. And it t totally changed our view of astronomy. Now, we've got some already beautiful events happening all across Canada, and already in January there were some really great kickoff events. Here's a couple of photos from Montreal. Done by, uh, this is uh, an event done by the P Montreal Planetarium. Mm -hmm. Over 1,000 people showed up, brisked those cold, cold uh, <laughs> temperatures. And cold they were. This was just last weekend, and they looked at Venus and Mars, and uh, little kids were out. It was a pretty, uh, pretty uh, good, good turnout, so it was a, a wonderful event. And there's going to be a lot more coming up. And in fact, this weekend, starting tonight, oh, there's that. some across Canada. There's just a sa just a small sampling at the Telus World of Science in Calgary, Alberta. They're doing some stargazing. Also tonight, a kickoff event in Moncton, New Brunswick, at the Chapters Bookstore in, in Champlain Place. And then tomorrow at the Ontario Science Centre downtown. Toronto, they'll be looking at the sun through filtered telescopes. And if you want to know more, you can just log on to astronomy2009.ca for all the events across Canada. Looking forward to that. Let's get back to that cosmic quiz before we let you go. We've got about 25 seconds. The question today was, what astronomical discovery did Galileo make? Those are our three choices. What's the answer? The answer is all of the above, the moons of Jupiter, sunspots, wow. and the Milky Way stars. Oh, I, I, I guessed A and B. I wasn't really sure about B. You know what, folks? If you want to find out more about what we talked about today or learn more about Andrew Fizikas and everything else he's covering, it's www.thenightskyguy.com.